Welcome back guys to another video. Today we're going to be looking at Nikola Corporation. Um, today it did climb 19% and I did buy a few days ago Nikola stock. So I want to tell you guys why I want to hold this stock for the long term and why exactly did it go 19% up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video for more videos like this and let's get started so as you can see that Nikola rose around 19 percent today and the reason it rose was because JP Morgan gave it a downgrade from forty dollars to thirty five dollars but the price of Nikola today is sixteen point four dollars so that's a one-year target away which could potentially double for Nikola so it is a hundred percent above the price it's trading today Nikola for its 2021 target um, the reason Nikola stock cratered to around $12 was because of its cancellation with Republic Services. I believe that's a trash company, like a trash can company. And the deal with General Motors uh, was downsized. So it has a price target of 35 but the stock really went up 20% because people weren't expecting a $35 target. That too from JP Morgan. So where does my position stand in this stock? So Nikola for me, I bought at 14.45 right around over here. I believe I did buy this on Monday or maybe Friday. Um, the stock has been coming down quite a lot, guys. Um, I do think this is a re reversal, at least for the short term. And I think uh, you could have a support around the 17 area. So there's a little bit more uh, of a 10% upside in the short term. The next levels we're going to be looking at is the 20. Uh, I do think it can go to the 20s. Uh, but Nikola stock does have a lot of expectations coming into 2021. Um, I do think that it is a buy for me because um, I do think that Nikola is going to get some more deals with some big companies. And I think you're going to get a, a cheap discount. Uh, this It was a SPAC right around uh, March. Uh, and I remember buying into the stock when it was uh, like the 27 ranges in 27 May. Uh, so I'm, I think I'm buying this stock for a far less price today. Um, the valuation 6.3 billion does concern me. It's pretty big, but it's not as big as the 30 billion valuation it had back in June. And I definitely think uh, it's not the, the next Tesla, I would say, but it has got some uh, big capabilities and potential for the future with its hydrogen technology. And I do like the shape of its trucks. There was a bit of a fraud with Trevor Milton uh, running down a big truck. So that is something to... Uh, watch out for and anything related to a fraud makes a stock sell off so I think it wasn't the worst of sell-offs I guess it wasn't the biggest fraud in my opinion it's just my opinion but I do think it was a fraud and it was bad for Trevor Milton to do it so he is still the CEO it looks like it um, and uh, that, that will be it for Nikola Corporation I think if you guys are able to get it at the 16 price, it's still a great price for Nikola. It just has a big, big, big expectation for next year if it's going to be getting more orders or not. Because right now it's not selling anything and it's going into like a loss of 100 million per year, I believe. It does have 900 million in cash, which it raised early in March or sorry, May uh, with a SPAC uh, BTIQ, as you guys can remember. But right now at the $16 range, in my opinion, it can keep on going higher. Uh, this was a little bit of a consolidation. Um, we'll see in the future. It can, in a way, go lower if this consolidation breaks out again. And we should share is going down more. Um, uh, I think that will be it for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.